Hello there, Drew Hanish of Whiskey Lore, and I am continuing my trip through Ireland. Today, I had the pleasure of traveling to two different distilleries that are both over on a peninsula in County Down. The first one being Ecklandville, and the second one being um, Copelands, which is right on the water, on the Irish Sea. And... Um, Loved both distilleries. I'm telling you right now that um, if you don't know much about Irish whiskey, well, I tell you, there's a lot more than Jameson and Bushmills coming down the road. And this particular whiskey is one that I'm going to do a tasting on today. This is Old Comer, which is a historic Irish brand from County Down. It's really, um, it's it was established in 1825. It shut its doors in 1956 during the great consolidation of Irish whiskey distilleries. It was prized for its quality and its robustness, um, and yet it disappeared. And so now Ecklandville has come in and not only revived that brand, but also the Dunville brand, which I will do a video on as well. But this is a first edition 2021 pot still whiskey from Old Comer and five years old pot still whiskey if you're not familiar with it is actually a combination of barley that is malted and unmalted barley it is considered the Irish style it's what made Ireland famous during the 19th century and I don't have my normal drinking glass, unfortunately, on this one. It's a little harder for me to get a nose on this, unfortunately. But I do get a nice floral vanilla out of this. It's hard to pick up anything else out of it, though, from this glass. I'm really going to have to bring a Glen Cairn glass with me next time I uh, go on this kind of a journey. I absolutely love it. So much flavor bursts out. I, I get um, a little of that vanilla in there, but apple and toffee. There's a little pepperiness to it. Usually, single pot still whiskeys that I have enjoyed have been very... Um, I say grape nuts kind of a flavor uh, that comes through and then a pepperiness on the finish. This one, there is a pepperiness on the finish, but it is just so gentle and, and pleasing. Sometimes it can be a little bit sharp. And in this particular case, it's beautiful. In a way, it kind of reminds me of Glen Glassa in the way that this is just a very nice, substantial mouthfeel to this. It is... A pleasure to hold on your palate. And this is really for what Ecklandville is doing. This is on the lower end in terms of the price scale. I think 45 pounds is what I read was going to be the price point on this whiskey. And that they're going to work to um, lengthen the age on this over time. Um, I get a, a herbaly note on the finish. It leaves me with apple coffee cake with the brown sugar coming in that vanilla is still there this is a treat and um i i left with a lot of these little bottles uh, to do tastings on and i so wish i could ship these home and i am hoping that this whiskey makes its way to the united states at some point or another or i'm just gonna have to spend a lot of money and keep coming over to ireland to taste it but Mm. really somewhere in that apple pie region it's interesting because i was tasting old smoky apple pie moonshine and it's flavored moonshine this is not flavored this is whiskey done right excellent excellent whiskey enjoyed that thoroughly hope you enjoyed this video have more of them coming from my bed and breakfast visits here. Um, it's a unique, unique way for me to do this, but I can't take these bottles home with me. So this is the way that I will have to do these. 
particular tastings. And so uh, you're getting me from the road. How about that? Uh, more of these Irish distillery visits coming up. I got 45 distilleries on my agenda. So lots of whiskey to share with you. You will know Irish whiskey probably better than a lot of people in Ireland know it by the time I get through with this trip. So until next time, cheers and Slavjava.